What's that noise? Him. Ah. Chewbacca. Oh, Chewbacca, of course. <laughs> About ten years ago, um, six of the Lemoniacs were born. And we were all panicked about all the steep hills and, and, and play, play dates and all that. And so we were lucky to have six kids on the same block. And so we're the original Lemoniacs. There's Linnea. And just back from Poland is Sarai. Yay! And um, Alejandro is mine. He's not here because he's playing soccer in Pasadena right now. <laughs> what? He's coming later, though. Okay. He's gonna. He'll be on his grandmother's back, by the way, just so you know which one he is. <laughs> and who else was there? Oliver. Oliver. Right here. R right here, Oliver. Me. Yeah. Oh, oh, and Hugo. And Hugo. Hugo. And Hugo. And, and Gaia. And who's in there? And Gaia. Who's in there? And Lucas. No, not Lucas. And so now, look at all these Lemoniacs. It's getting crazy. And tomorrow, there are twin Lemoniacs being born right down on the street. Did you know about that? And, what's that? I didn't know. You didn't know? Yeah. So every year, there are more Lemoniacs. And uh, so this, this has been happening for about 10 years. Maybe yeah. eight or nine years. Yeah. So uh, we are after the magic show. We're all going to try to go down this side of the street, all right? So that nobody goes in the street. So if we could have some grown-ups like in front of the whole crowd, so we go slowly and we're not going back and forth. And then we're going to come back up from Effie on the other side of the street, and then we're going to go up to a party at Linnea's house. Really close to your house. Good job on all my hands. So we're really lucky that the whole time we've lived here, uh, Chris and Eleanor have been here, and they have two sons, and one just left the house because he is performing at what's it called? Halloween nights. Um, horror nights. Horror, horror nights. nights. At horror Universal. At Universal Studios. <laughs> so he's been going there every night for like two weeks and for another week maybe. Oh. Been longer than that. And for years. <laughs> so, uh, right now I'd like to introduce the magnificent Chris Burian Moore. That is a little difficult. Are you all ready for some magic? Yeah. Yay. Okay, but just what call it. There's, I thought so. You guys can come in the front. One thing I have to hey, take Ollie. care of. Ollie. Or we did. Water from the witch's cauldron. How many of you have been here before for a magic show? Look at that. Okay, every year I like to introduce you to somebody new, one of my friends. Hey, he's new. <laughs> oh, and this and, guy. And that, yeah, that guy's new too. Uh, and so this year, from the land of alliteration, Skelly Skeleton. Oh. And as you can see, Skelly is very concerned about his head. He's always afraid. Yeah. He's always afraid he's going to lose his head. Not get overly excited, but really lose his head. So, literally, exactly. So every night, he removes his head. If he doesn't want my feet, I'm going to shut him up. And then he stuffs it into his pillowcase, just like that. And that worked out pretty well for a long time, but then just a few... You, you think so? Yes. Let me check. You're right. It's gone. There you go. Josie. You don't believe me? Okay. This is called the wonders of the Velcro. Yeah, oh. really. Oh. It is it. So here is a skeleton without a head. What was he going to do? Well, he had another friend, also from the land of alliteration, Bobby Blowhard, who said, I've got something for you. How about a moment? Yeah. That doesn't look too friendly. Let me fix that up. Yeah, just some, uh, write some markers and then take a pop. Yeah. 
You think so? <laughs> Hard to believe I make my living as an artist, isn't it? There you okay. go, you're an artist, good for you. <laughs> oh, that's cute. There you go. That's perfect size. Yes. The problem with it was that everybody... Made fun of his whole his legs. They made fun of him, you know, they called him Airhead. Can you believe that? Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So finally, he got really smart, he went up the street, he found this old man, very wise old man, just happened to be named Chris also, and uh, he said, how can I get ahead? And Chris said, you know, go to school and concentrate, that should do it. He said, go to school, go to school. That turned out to be the magic word. Can you all shout on the count of three, go to school? Go One, to two, school. three, go, go to school! school. Done before. 
and uh, I'm going to need someone and some actors here to help me. How about you back there? You want to come up here? Oh my goodness, I love this. And interestingly, you are going to play the part of Sandra Cat. Is that okay? Are you good with that? Okay. I've got some ears for you here. Which will complement your outfit wonderfully. There you go. Just stand right there. Now, Sandra Cat decided that she wanted to get something special for her mom. So she said, I'm going to go to the pumpkin, she thinks, I mean, they're all the pumpkin patch, and get her a beautiful pumpkin blossom. So I like this one right here. Like that. She also took along this crystal cylinder to present it. But unfortunately, that blossom was attached to a couple of Unfortunately, it was attached to the vines, but also, unfortunately, the vines were attached to those two evil pumpkins. I need mean, two dun, evil. Dun, dun. There's an evil pumpkin, and how about you? How about you, Chief Lindsay? You can be Jack O' Lantern, and you can be George O' Lantern. Okay, so those evil pumpkins made the vines crawl around behind Sandra. Hold on to that, George O'Lantern. Okay, and Jack O'Lantern. Hold on to those two. Here she was, stuck. She needed a magic word. What magic word would work? How about? I want out of here. Can you all shout that on the count of three? One, two, three. I want out of here. Oh! Oh, oh. And the lines went right oh. through our very great assistant. How a big hand for our fun. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, look on your horns there. How many of you have played the game, card game, Go Fish? Oh, good. I won't have to explain it to you. Then. All right. Yeah. I just happen to have in my little bucket here a really cool set of Go Fish cards. They're just fish. I played Go Fish. Yeah. Got to have all different pictures. Fish, and there's a whale. Uh, there's a seahorse. All sorts of cool things. And, you know, the object of the game is to get matching sets of the cards. So, uh, let me see. I'm going to riffle through. You know riffle? Okay. Potato chips sort of thing, I think. Okay. All right. Just tell me to stop any time. Right there? Okay. Take that. Don't show it to anybody. Just the top card. Only need one. You got it? Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take the rest of the cards and drop them in the bucket like that. Mix them all up. And now I need one more helper. that hand. <laughs> kind of worried about that. Manual dexterity. Have you ever gone fishing before? Yeah. Oh, you have. Well, you should be good at this. All right. Here's our fishing line. You want to hold on to that and then lower it into the bucket. 
There you go. Go around, shake it around a little bit. And try to lift it up a little bit, shake it around some more. Uh huh. There you go. Okay. Great. Be cutting thing yet? To your left. <laughs> well, let's see if that works. It's to your left. Not, that's his right. <laughs> right, we're talking stage letters. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Magic multiplier. So if there's anything inside of that, put the sign up like that. All right. Close those doors. We'll take our three. Our three little rubber ducks here and drop them in. And everybody shout the magic words this time is I want a duck. Please. Remember that last part. Very important. On the count of three. One, two, three. I want a duck, please. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. the Silver Lake Reservoir. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pebbles. Hey, everybody. Get out before. What's that? This is for money. 